They were having some serious flu shot reactions over here. Rag Eye couldn't reach for the ranch earlier. Crew can't okay, pick this piece of pizza them. up. High five, <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back to the house, the Bingham house, the chaos house, the crazy house. The kids are getting ready for school. Hazy is on her second day of kindergarten today. And I think she's very excited. She is very excited about her outfit every day. She's got her plaid skirt on. She's brushing her teeth right now outside, which I would show you. She chose a side pony and for a little sass, we threw some curls in it. So she is feeling very cute and very fun today. Rexy, you ready for school? Yep. Rexy's really excited because he is gonna walk Hazy into school and make sure she makes it to her class safely. Oh, here she is. Hazy herself. You look darling. I love your outfit. I like your skirt and look at your cute side pony with a little quill in it. It looks so cute on you. And, and new shoes and new fluffy socks. They're darling. You look really cute. Is your backpack ready? There it is. Let's get off to school, okay? Make sure she gets her safe and hold her hand. Yep. Hazy, the only thing you need is a mask. Oh. Today, Hazy chose her cute little purple starred one. Oh, teal's always a good choice. This is like an olive green, like it. And Ryler chose black. Ryler's been digging that this is how we bang them one, but they're all dirty right now, so they are in the wash. More of our masks are coming in stock in a couple of weeks, so make sure to watch because I've been getting all of the messages from you all receiving your packages and you're loving them, and it makes me so happy. More masks are coming soon. I'm gonna head out, get these kids to school. I'm gonna film a video for Mindy's Best. Make sure to watch that on Friday. Kids are at school. I've been home working on a little project here in the house. I feel like I'm just making a giant mess and there's no way I'm finishing before the kids have to be picked up because I have to leave here in just a few minutes. Hopefully nobody breaks in. They're gonna be like, oh, we definitely have the wrong house. But I'm gonna go get the kids from school. I'm gonna take them for a fun little lunch today, somewhere that we've been wanting to go. Somewhere that takes us back to one of our old favorites. While mom was getting kids, a bomb went off in the kitchen or what happened exactly? You're gonna have to check out mom's video on Mindy's Best this Friday. It will explain what get, is going, yeah. So by Friday, this is cleaned up. It might take longer than that. In the meantime, to avoid this mess and to get the heck out of here, we are going back to Hawaii. Okay, we can't go back to Hawaii, but we can eat a burger from our favorite burger joint that is actually in Hawaii. They have one here in Utah. It's in Provo. It's called Seven Brothers. We ate it twice, I think, while we were there on Oahu on the North Shore. We ate there twice. We thought about it the entire time. We haven't stopped thinking about it since. So, we get a little taste of the islands, a little taste of Hawaii today. We're gonna go grab a burger at Seven Brothers, a little after-school lunch, done Hawaiian style. Aloha, everyone. Aloha. I just arrived to Seven Brothers in Provo, Utah. It's not, not as like quite humid as, as I pictured it being. Not as tropical as the North Shore of Oahu. However, bringing back some of the vibes, some of the feels, definitely some of the smells. This smells amazing. This smells so good. Mom got what'd you get? I got the Terry Burger. Terry Burger is the classic. That's what I got when we were in Hawaii both times. It has pineapple, it has their house sauce. The actual patty is dipped in a teriyaki sauce. And yeah, then I think it's like drenched in it. It is a flavor punch pack. No, flavor patch punch. Favorite. It's very flavorful. And I'm trying out the cowboy. I've never had it. Paniolo burger. They also call it the cowboy. It is ginormous. Double stacked it's like onion bigger rings. Than his head. It's got pineapple, house sauce, bacon, all the, all things. the things. All the things, you guys. So we're gonna dive into this. I'm Have so a little taste of Hawaii here at Seven Brothers today. After a delicious Seven Brothers lunch, there's only one thing left to do. Hit the bonsai pipeline for some epic surf. Let's go.
doing things in a little bit reverse order today. We went out for lunch first, now back home to get on that homework and chores, trying to maintain that normality, no, the normalcy, the routineness, what do you call that? The repetition of getting these things done daily so that it just kind of gets ingrained in our minds that after school, it is homework, it is chores, and then it is fun. We did a little bit of fun first. We went to Hawaii, NBD. But we are back now, time for some homework. Reading, a little bit of light chores, and the kids are actually off to the doctors. Ugh. Now the kids are headed off to the doctor. It's just supposed to be, I think, Ryler, right? For his Ryler well check. and Hazel have their well checks. They go every single time they have a birthday just to make sure they're healthy and strong. Yes. And then they added a couple of kids and said, you know what, while we're there. You know what? They called me and told me that they have flu shots in. Let's knock out some flu shots. So the kids may not even know that. We might have just told them, they but they are going to the doctor to get some flu shots right now. Stay tuned, find out how that went. You guys should be back in just a few. Just a little bit. One hour later. Kids just got back from their shots. Now I got a text from Rye Guy. I got a text from Rye Guy while they were there. And he said, Dad, I got news for you. We're doing more than flu shots today. I got my junior high shots. Junior high shots? You're not going into junior high. Why are you getting your junior high shots? Because mom insists. Mom insists. Well, check it out. He came home with some hardware, you guys. He got one, one two double smiley bandages. Like, inside his arm. He yeah, it, it was weird. Like, the pain was in the middle he said of my he arm. Liked it. Dude, kind of liked it. Dude, kind of liked it. But wait, weird. that's not all, you guys. That's only half, bro. And we've got two more. Oh, she my said, gosh. She said that she put the, these ones because they're laughing at me. Because you were being such a wuss or yeah. what? Yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> I love you. I text him. I was like, dude, you're good. You got this. You're tough. And he texted back. He was like, I'm not tough. And then I said, tough to get along with. <laughs> oh! That oh, was my joke. Yeah, right. that's what I was trying to say. No, it said like thought or something like oh, that. Oh, shoot. It might have autocorrected. Sorry. <laughs> wait, did it? The hazy girl. Wait, hazy girl. My you got a shot honey. too. Oh, it's my little and pony. And guess what? He said that Hazy is such a big girl and she is so tall and she's exactly where she's supposed to be very healthy. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the well check where I was worried about yeah, the shots. Yeah, that's why that's Hazy right. and that's why Ryan was there. So he's expecting Ryler to be about 6'3". Hey, right. my height, bro. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's uh, go. Ryler uh, and Brandon James. That's what I'm talking about. Hazy girl, what's with the big sticker on the other arm? This is just a sticker she got. She's oh, calling it a sticker. tattoo. Okay. Oh, I like that tattoo. And then, Rex, did you get any shots today? I got one. Oh, my gosh. I can barely see the band aid in your sick guns here. All I see is a big giant muscle. So how did it feel? Was it okay or not too bad? Or? It felt a little weird. A little bit weird? Yeah. Yeah, getting shots is never fun. Oh, and then crew just naturally has his sleeves up all the time, just showing off those guns. Makes sense since you're about to go to football practice, bro. Are you ready for that? Whoa, this flab. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> flab. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Wait, how'd you handle the shots? I'm assuming like a uh, boss. I went first. I think crew is the bravest one of all. Ryder literally. <laughs> Panic he said that the lady put on the bandages. It, it oh, you videoed it? Yeah, we can't share it. But oh, can't. dang it. So, yeah, guys, we don't we don't video in the doctor's office anymore. That's why I don't get to bring you those anymore. But the right guy said that. He had me hold his hand. <laughs> they put on <laughs> these band aids because they were laughing at him. <laughs> the cool thing about Rye Guy, he may not be the toughest in the bunch, but he is so <laughs> confident and completely owns it. We are sitting here talking about how they held to hold his hand, and he really couldn't care less that the world knows about no, that because he really he's very be. confident in who he is, and Some I love that. Shots, he's going to be a little sore from Oh, he's going to be feeling that one. He said he Tomorrow, felt it in the bone. I'm uh, sore on this one. Right now, I am very sore on this one. <laughs> on this one? Next one, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take crew to his football practice. I'm gonna take all the kids with me. We're gonna go hang out at the park. Leave mom in some peace and quiet here. See what she can do with this. Now remember you guys, this is gonna be on her channel, Mindy's Best. I have no idea what's going down. I know it's big because everything in our kitchen is out here on the table right now. See how much she accomplishes in the short hour that we're gone. But we're gonna give her a quiet home. I'm taking the kids with me to the park. Don't only take an hour. Take your time. Don't hurry on my account. Don't feel like you have to rush back on my account. We're gonna go to crew's football practice. There's a park nearby. Kids are gonna play. Crew's gonna practice. We're gonna have some fun and we'll be back in a minute. So we dropped Kirby Doo off at practice and just down the road we wanted to make a quick stop at Walmart because Rye Guy, don't, don't tease it yet. How can I say this very quickly? Many of you have been asking, you saw in some of the videos when Rye Guy was doing his homework, he had on a smartwatch and a lot of people said, is that an Apple watch? What is that? Where did he get that? So Rye Guy saved up his own money and bought a smartwatch, but when he, we got it home, it turns out it was a different watch than... I thought it was. Yes. Basically, it was sitting in the wrong place at Walmart and because he doesn't do a lot of these purchases on his own, he grabbed the wrong one. So we went back to exchange it today for the right one and turns out they had a crazy sale going on on these Apple watches. So Rye Guy, instead of exchanging it for the correct watch, just went ahead and got himself an Apple watch. Now, if you guys saw his birthday video, we got him a kid's debit card. Is it called Green Debit? What's it called? Green Light. Green Light. So we got him a Green Light card. And mom loads money onto that and things like that. You guys saw Crew recently bought his own skateboard, saving his own money. Well, Rye Guy's been saving his money from doing some extra chores, babysitting things around the neighborhood, mowing the lawn before that paid for his phone bill. He saved up a lot of money from that. And he bought a smartwatch with all of his own money using his own debit card. It was a very cool first purchase with 
with that debit card and now that has transformed into his very first Apple Watch, you guys. Oh yeah. We're gonna unbox this bad boy, play with it while we go back and watch Cruz finish up his practice. We got Rag Guy in the truck behind me there, setting up his new Apple Watch. Super stoked and jazzed about that. We got Hazy and Rex playing around in an open field, doing some jump rope. And then just over here, you got crew at football practice. A beautiful late summer evening right now. Temperatures couldn't be better. It's not too hot. Nice little cloud cover rolling in to cover up that hot sun today. We're just enjoying winding this night down together as a family while mom is back home cleaning that kitchen up. Just got back in the house, fresh off of Kirby Doo's first football practice. And I gotta tell you, it seems a little worn down, dude. You were running hard. He was running hard routes, caught every pass I saw thrown you, by the way. Very impressed with your skills. I can't wait to go to your game. So it was great to see him out there. He's in a fifth and sixth grade league, so there's actually a kid on his team in Ryler's class. I didn't think about it. They could have been on the same team this year. That would have been really cool. Guys, an identifiable, recognizable kitchen, including some fall decor. What is going on in here? Showing all of the things that I bought at Target. Little cheap dollar section. Gotta hit that up, you guys. And fall is in the air, even if it is 95 degrees. I've kind of been feeling like soups and stuff like that. And I'm like, what's wrong? It's 95 degrees. It is not outside. fall weather at all. We are gonna be breaking into some delicious homemade pizzas here. They're kind of our These version are just of homemade. These are little pita breads that I buy from Costco. And then I freeze them in packs of six. And then this is actually sauce that I had from last time we made pizzas. I just froze a little bit in a Ziploc and put it in the freezer. This is all just like, from the freezer. Love it, you guys, love it. Going through, finding some delicious, and you get a fun pizza, kind of customize it, making your own. Looks like we got some cheese, pepperoni, delicious sauces. It's pizza Tuesday. And the kids love it. Oh, instead of Taco Tuesday, we switched to Pizza Tuesday. But the kids always love these every time. Big, big hit with these guys. By the way, Rag Eye, I just realized what a perfect shirt you wore today to Hawaii. Thank Wait, you. hold on, do you have an AirPod in? Oh, Paired God, with your Apple nice. Watch? listening to some what what just happened right now let's go he's loving this thing getting it all set up very excited for that him is pretty very exciting. first purchase with his green light debit card kind of cool Kids are talking about the different soreness in their arms from their shots that they got today. Now we had learned, we'd heard, I don't know if this is typical with all shots, flu shots, whatever, but the more you use it after the shot, the more it stays loose and shouldn't stiffen up and be hurting the next day or later that day. But Crew has been using the entire time of football practice tonight and he says it's just killing him. Like show me how far you said you can lift up your arms. I can lift it up this far and before. That's about it before it just starts to hurt, which is crazy. You're out there catching passes over your head. I'm glad you were toughening it up through that. And Brexton, he's been jumping rope the entire time, which has been very active, moving his hands around a ton. And he said his doesn't hurt at all. Yep. So it's kind of just very different depending on- I had on... one when I was pregnant with her, and you guys know that I used to do nails like every day. It hurt so bad, I had to cancel my entire day of work because I couldn't lift my arm. <laughs> I couldn't even do my hair. That's crazy, and I heard also too, as much as it hurts, it's like helpful to massage it, just to kind of give it like little rubs, even like soft, gentle rubs Did like I that. Mine a little bit. So should I massage yours, Hazy girl? Okay, I'll rub your arm tonight, okay? When we snuggle? Yeah. She's snuggling me. Who are you snuggling tonight, me or mom? I'm snuggling daddy. <laughs> me and Hazy went with the extra most bestest pepperoni on top of pepperoni. I can't figure out because she doesn't like them. But she made it herself, so it's custom. She's literally picking them off. Sweetie. I think she just she wanted literally to decorate it. She loaded them and actually off, which is great because watch this. It's okay. Transfer these pepperonis from here to daddy's. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Crew went a little sparing on the pep there. Mom, what a BBQ her. sauce. Oh, and BBQ sauce. Very nicely done. These boys got light on the pepperoni. We needed half cheese, half pepperoni, and of mm. course, Bingham Family Standard. Gotta have ranch with your pizza. Okay, how's your pizza? Delicious. <laughs> We're having some serious yeah. flu shot reactions over here. Rag Eye couldn't reach for the ranch earlier. Crew can't okay, pick this piece of pizza button. up. High five, high five. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Crew, did you have a question? Please raise your hand if you have a question. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to <laughs> yeah, I'll take a piss off. So that arm is fine. Was the other arm the hard arm? The, oh, you're being tough? so bad. <laughs> you guys are such babies. I love it. <laughs> I'm not a baby. No, Brecklin's not. He's not. He's I totally was the one who got four shots. Two arms up. If anything, I should be. Rock guy's got like an arm full of holes right now. Four full-blown shots in his arms. Can't even see them.
I've got the kids into bed and I don't know what it is, but I am just feeling like we're getting back to like a really normal-ish type feeling life. We have football practice. Hazy got her soccer schedule. Brexton has his soccer stuff. It's like all of a sudden there's all of these things going on. It feels kind of crazy. It just feels like there are a lot more things on our plate. Having kids back in so school. Much more. And it just feels like every day, even though it's a normal day, is just chock full of stuff. Today we had a lot of fun. It we was a good day. We're got tired some burgers, though. went to the doctors, had a football practice, ran some errands. Now kids are in bed very early. It is 8.30 at night, you guys. That is normal for a school night, but crazy early compared to how summer was. I so. means I can get in a lot of episodes of Grace. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love it because I can get a good start on the vlog and it frees up the mornings a little bit. That's how yeah, we're able to do nice. some of the things that we've been able to do. Nice so scooter ride. Scooter ride. It's nice to get back into some kind yeah. of a routine. Feels really good. Make sure you come back every day. There is so much going on. It is action packed here. All the kids are in sports. School's in full swing. Just a lot of great things Feels going on. Feels really good and I think kids are enjoying it as well. We love you so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with us every day and we'll see you all tomorrow. Good night everybody. Bye. Pretty amazing being with Emma and Uncle Daniel with the top off in Hawaii. Look at that, you guys. Hey, yeah. Hawaii. Hashtag Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs>